Get your dog back now! Nah. I'm absolutely in disbelief that this has happened again for the second time in a week during lambing time. It needs people to be responsible with their dogs and um, and they're just not being. Good morning, so it's just before six. The mud is starting to dry out on the 13th, 13th of April today. And I'm just looking for new lambs this morning. This is the twins group I'm in. I've been in the triplets, nothing in the triplets. Doesn't look like anything in the twins, so off to the singles. Um, so yeah, first week of the day, nothing yet. So it's about seven now, and it's quite a quiet morning. Just having a walk around. And this is the twins nursery field. So just looking at the ewes and lambs, making sure that all seems well. Here we've got the triplets. So I'm having a look at all the lambs as well as feeding the ewes, just to see which ones look a bit thinner or anything. It's Saturday today. These are the first lambs of the day. She's having a drink. Man. <sighs> right, what's happened? The dog was just going, picking off sheep, going for them. Um, they were falling all over the place. Um, you know, it looked like as if he was jumping up at their necks and stuff. I was like, shit, what's going to happen here? So, it's not good. So we've just come up to look at these lambs up here that have just been born, like hour or two ago and so we're, we're watching the ewes and as we're watching this dog just flies over the wall into our uh it's like a was it like a lurcher sheepdog cross mm. over the wall and just starts running the ewes i'm absolutely in disbelief that this has happened again for the second time in a week during lambing time i'm really shaken up by this I'm really shaken up and I'm really upset. I'm really dis distressed. The... Um, so we're just trying to just take stock for a minute and we're discussing this whole thing about like, this has just happened while we've been here, like, because, you know, we're up here more, I guess, because it's lambing time, but, you know, we can't be here every minute of every day. And and we're discussing having a gun. Like, I don't really want to shoot anyone's dog. Like, I've never used a gun. It's not something that I particularly feel comfortable doing, but I'm starting to feel like we need one. And um, and yeah, what about the times when we're not here? Like, we, we can't live, like, you know, in all of the fields that we have with all the livestock we have, we can't cover all bases all of the time. It needs people to be responsible with their dogs. And, um, and they're just not being. We can't live, like, you know, in all of the fields that we have with all the livestock we have, we can't cover all bases all of the time. It needs people to be responsible with their dogs. And um, and they're just not being. What's the words? Well, you've um, reported it to the police. Yes, yeah, so I've reported it to the police. Um, from what we understand from the first incident, 
that the, the dog will be given a control order, which means basically if they go out in public with that dog, it has to be on a lead. If it's not on a lead, then the dog will be taken from them. I kind of want to speak to him. I want to know why it wasn't on a lead. And if his dog chases sheep and there's sheep right there and it's a lurcher, a wall is nothing to a lurcher. Pardon me. Well done, Doris. Fantastic lambs. Good mothering. Hey, Doris. Put some water. So, a little update. Apologies for my not very great filming, but this little lamb, we just helped it along. So, it's good to see that it's a healthy lamb. This weather is just. You think it's going to end and then it doesn't. The wind and rain is back, so we're just <coughs> we're just sheltering whilst watching this ewe, um, and then we're going to try and move the two ewes that have lambed today so far into the nursery field. So we have been feeling anxious about what's going to happen as the aftermath of this dog attack. Um, because um, I knew that there could be problems with lambs getting tangled inside and therefore difficulties and losses that way. Um, and I also knew that ewes could miscarry or abort as a result of the stress from the attack. Um, and when the vet came the other night, she said um, that absolutely the problem with that lambing could have been caused, could have been caused by the stress to the ewe being chased in the triplets. Um, so anything that's been lambing today, um, I've just been feeling really worried, um, you know, worried of what's going to happen. And it, lambing is a stressful enough time as it is um, without the added complication of dog, dog worrying incidents, um, just spoiling what is already a really stressful time, but should be quite a happy and rewarding time. And the thought of losing lambs due to the stupidity of selfish dog owners uh, is just not good. But yeah, the rain is really nasty right now. So the lamb needs to stay there where it's sheltered. Because of the weather and the time of day, half seven, we're going to bring these in. So 5.45, Sunday morning and I'm up the field. This is the twin group. Um, so there was a single ewe in with the twins. She was really underweight uh, and worryingly so. Um, I wormed her and kept her in for a week. Um, to try and get her weight up after Heptivac jab and uh, she was a question mark as to whether she was going to be okay and she's got a single lamb and it looks perfect so I'm really pleased. Well done, that's great. So there is the new little single lamb and in the background, you can see the blossom on the blackthorn. And I just noticed there are some leaves coming on the trees. Bambi's lambs here this morning, um, really nice lambs and she seems to have accepted both of them so that's the first time, third year lucky, that she actually likes both of her lambs. So it's a nice morning for marking up what was born yesterday. Grass is growing. Yeah. 
got some more triplets out in the field. We're just having a laugh. Our numbering system is not been very good this year. We've just forgotten every day what number we got to. So we just sort of start the day with a three today, four tomorrow, and so on. So we are refueling the tractor. And just whilst we've got some lovely sunshine, having a look at these lovely flowers that are growing along the front of the house. It's all a bit wild, but that's how we do things here. After the vet incident the other night, so we ended up with this lamb, just one lamb out of the zoo, and she had a horrible time of it. She got chased, then she lost her lamb. So they can go out in the field. So that is the end of this video, finishing with this view of all of the wonderful triplets that we've had so far, and then an update as to what happened with the dog incident. Straight after the dog had chased the ewes, worried the sheep, um, Nick went and spoke to the guy, got his details, and then he passed it on to the police, Derbyshire police, who someone from the rural crime team came out later that day. And since then, we've heard nothing. Um, we haven't had an update from the police. We haven't had an apology from the guy whose dog it was. Um, he only lives about less than a mile away, half a mile away. Um, he certainly knows where we are and I know where he lives. Um, and we haven't heard a peep out of him. Um, thankfully, we haven't lost any lambs since um, it happened. The stress to us is significant. We shouldn't be having to deal with that. Um, I feel like we should get compensated for the stress alone. Um, the fact that the dog was in a field where there's no public access, there's no public footpath, I deliberately kept the ewes away from fields with footpaths to try and keep them safe. Um, and then this is what's happened. Um, so I would, I would like to see compensation paid. Um, and I would also like to know that there is a control order placed on that dog. Um, because in my mind, that dog should not be uh, roaming free in the countryside when it's such a threat.